Hi Taurus, welcome to your end of May 2019 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. Oh, I'm going to put this... Okay. I don't, I feel like this is imbalance, but whatever. Um, so how has May been so far for you? Um, have you, since it's your birthday month, have you, I mean, most of you, um, have you found it to be full of turmoil, kind of smooth sailing, somewhere in between? We are having a full moon in the second half of May, and this will affect your opposite sign, Scorpio. I mean, it will be in, the full moon will be in, in Scorpio, so it will affect your seventh house of committed partnership. And um, I was just noting uh, with a, a former video that I did for this series that yesterday on May 12th, I was like, wow, you know, it just felt like really intense. A lot of like, it seems like there was a lot of conflict, at least, um, you know, from my in my experience and what I saw a little bit around me. And then I thought, wow, I wonder if, I wonder if this has anything to do with that full moon, if it's even ahead of schedule in terms of like, cause you know, Scorpio is a doozy and full moons are doozy. So we'll see, we'll see, won't we? This is the wild unknown tarot deck. I like these cards, it's just sometimes hard to pick up because they're matte. No, so in other words, they're not glossy. Oh, you got your card, the Hierophant. All right. The Daughter of Wands is the central theme here at the end of May, which corresponds to the Page of Wands. How do you feel about that? Page of Wands versus Daughter of Wands. I don't really like the daughter, the mother, the father uh, type of changes, but um, I mean, I think they're to emphasize the feminine and the masculine, perhaps, and also the status of child versus parent. Uh, the daughter of wands is the page of wands. So it's going to be, um, this can be children. Um, it can represent children, but, um, you know, pages. But it can also be messages. <laughs> messages? Messages. And I was thinking this is like, this could be really good news that you that you hear uh, Taurus at the end of May for some reason. And uh, wands are fire signs. So with pages sometimes being a situation in its infancy, like a, a new relationship, for instance, if it's along those lines, it will be a relationship that is very um, exciting. And it can be passionate. It can be very sexy. Um, for instance, if I would have gotten the Page of Pentacles, it could be very earthy. And um, since you're a Taurus, it would be more maybe um, all about stability and things like that. But um, Page of Wands is just... Um, there's like excitement in the air for some reason. Maybe you're hearing something you've wanted to hear this news and it's coming through. In the past position, we have the Ace of Cups. So, did you meet anybody recently that um, maybe for some reason you were, you are not able, you were not able to communicate, and now finally they're able to say, hey, you know, let's get together. Uh, Ace of Cups could also be a new endeavor that involves the healing arts or creativity. And, um, with Page of Wands, you could be hearing something that is a development with these issues that makes you feel very like, yes, you know, finally, I've broken through. 
The higher message is the Five of Swords. Now, this is interesting because the Five of Swords, Swords can be about communication, but with the Five of Swords, it can be like um, slander and um, even gossip can be true, but it's not right to do it, right? So um, you notice how in this card they have like these worms or something? <laughs> They're supposed to show like maggots or something. Um, and and kind of showing like the vibe is really uh, kind of icky and gross, you know? Whatever is going on, it's like these this person or these people are doing things that are not quite... Um, in alignment with good and so this could be that somebody is talking about you uh, behind your back or trying to throw you off your game so because these other two cards are so good page of wands ace of cups Taurus make sure that you're very selective in who you tell people your good news because, because, and this is, I think this is just good advice anyway, because um, some people, if you tell them something good, they will then start to think of, re you know, ways to kind of <laughs> destroy you um, because they're really like frenemies, you know, or their family members, uh, families, um, they're really not in your corner and they get really mad when something good happens for you. So be very um, selective if you're, if you're, maybe you have a new relationship. Um, they could start a smear campaign. You know, that could, that's a good way of putting it, a smear campaign, because that's kind of what I, I get from that Five of Swords. And it could involve m uh, multiple people that um, really are envious of you and they might think that you always get the good things happening to you instead of them which of course everyone who is competitive and envious feels like that about another person and it's not necessarily the case I mean um, you may just be the reason you may have good things happen to you is because you go out and make them happen and you stay positive. And, you know, people like that, that represent the Five of Swords, probably don't have a very positive attitude. So it's no wonder that they don't attract good consistently to them because they're not um, coming at life in a very positive way and they may even be kind of destructive. So hopefully you know who I'm talking about here and that you don't trust the wrong people. Um, what crosses you is the Six of Pentacles. And um, this is a card of... The Six of Pentacles in the upright position can be a situation of giving to another person, maybe helping out a family member financially, or receiving help from somebody financially. Now, this is in the challenge position. Um, one of the things that came into my mind is connected to that Five of Swords also. Sometimes, if you have, for instance, a, a narcissistic parent, they may use money to try to lure you in, and maybe you found out that they were going to help you or something like that, and that was the good news that, you're, that you heard about. But it turned, you know, sour because they went and told your siblings, oh, I lent, you know, Sally um, $500, or I, or I gave it to her because she needed it. So in two ways, it puts you down. It tells everybody you have money problems, and it also you know, makes them hate you because they're like, why did you give it to her and not to me? So be careful that you haven't entered into one of those situations because with the six of pentacles in the challenge position, it's taking something that could be good, which is helping another person and turning it into something bad. Um, also, watch out for telling, this is another thing too, where your good news could have some kind of financial connection to it. 
so you tell people, like you tell your uh, brothers and sisters, oh God, you're not going to believe it. I just got, they just told me that I'm going to be receiving a supplement or I'm going to be getting this or that, or my spouse just got like a, a massive raise and he's going to be making twice as much money. And they are like, oh, can I borrow, <laughs> you know, a thousand dollars or something. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, this good news turns into something that is negative because all of a sudden they want something from you. So be very careful about who you share stuff like this from because if you share it with the wrong person, um, you could be dealing with somebody who is, I mean, a taker, you know what I mean? And it's not about not helping people. You know the difference. You know that there are people who, they're just always like that. They're always taking from others. Um, and they just, uh, and they're the first ones to gossip too, because they're, they're kind of like, um, you know, just problem personalities. So, um, if there's something going on with, um, money, it, it could be that other people are envious that you have this good fortune. And so, since I'm telling you about this in advance, if there's anything that you know that's coming up for you where you're going to be receiving money. Uh, and it, the, the um, Six of Pentacles can be an inheritance. So another thing, too, is you think you're going, you know, you think it's good news that you're going to be getting this money, but it turns into, like, a big um, fight with family members. The advice is represented by the Daughter of Cups, which is a very kind of an innocent card. And usually I would say, you know, this is a warning, but I think that um, in terms of something as advice would be to um, be, you know, be of pure heart. You know, you are an earth sign, Taurus. It might be kind of easy for you to get sucked into some kind of a drama that involves money, but don't do it. Don't allow yourself to lower yourself because even if, it turns out that someone is very aggressive and tries to take something from you, uh, you will emerge with your self-respect. You won't have, have to feel like you sank to somebody else's level. And I think that's a good thing. You might, you might disagree with me and say, no, I want the cold hard cash. But um, I think that there's every possibility that... Um, you will respect yourself more. And it does, uh, you know, th what I'm talking about here, there could be some other type of um, situation. I mean, this could be in the workplace very, e very, very easily. And I even just did a reading where it almost seemed, uh, I, where I think I got like a couple of the same, I, I don't know, at least I, I know I got the Six of Pentacles. And um, the Six of Pentacles can be getting what you're worth. And so you may be, you know, it might even be one of these things where you are getting a uh, promotion, but it's almost like the, the, the promotion is like, you know, uh, stroking your ego. It's not, the, you're not really showing for it with the money. And you might be saying to yourself, uh, you know, what's going on? And, and, and the Five of Swords those people could be very deceptive and trying to, to, to throw you off their game. So you have to be, um, I think that, well, I, I was going to say you have to be kind of cunning, but actually with the Page of Cups, maybe the best way of being cunning is to act very innocent about it and not to act like you suspect anything if, if there's something to be uncovered. The outcome is the Hierophant, and this is a card of um, tradition, and even, I, I would say, this reminds me of like the corporate um, mentality, where it's kind of like conform conforming to the group, and um, so if you look at it in terms of um, advice, it's actually supposed to be the outcome. But what I see with this card is 
kind of like trying to be um, a team player and, and what the company wants you to be, like not going outside of the box. Uh, you know, so if even if there are people who are uh, backstabbers, those kinds of people may be trying to, they're trying to get ahead too, right? So uh, you may just try to do what is considered acceptable culture in that particular company. And you're doing it because you're looking at it from the long haul. You're not going to pl play petty um, office politics. You really want to um, achieve a um, great outcome and you know that in order to do that you have to uh, sometimes let go of your own desires and and I even call it play along with what's going on now this may not be something that you stay with forever because there it might be too contentious and toxic um, with the five of swords you may not trust anybody and sometimes people say that that they're in a situation where they you know they can't um they don't trust anyone they don't like with the six of pentacles in this challenge position you may not trust that you're you may think that you're being taken advantage of and you may resent that but um the truth is that your well-being is that it's beyond this this is like temporary even if you stay at a company for 20 years it's still temporary it's not forever and you may play along because there's something for you to gain from it um, and you may say I'm just doing this for X amount of time and then I'm going to uh, call it quits but you're going to leave on your own terms if that's the case you're not going to let you know these flying monkeys uh, stop you from achieving your goals and even if you know in your heart of hearts that you're not um, being paid what you're worth and you're being told a pack of lies by people when you ask around because they don't want you to know the truth you can still be okay and you can still triumph over whatever's going on and um, the this is your card um, Taurus. So I really believe that um, this is something that you can make work for you, even if it's only temporary. I'm actually going to pull an additional card. I <laughs> I was going to pull it from the top, but I just like turned the deck over. So I'm going to take this card, and it is the Eight of Swords. So what is it that you allow to tell you that you can't have what you want? And um, how can you start telling yourself th different things? Let me pick a card from The Universe Has Your Back and see what that says. It's funny. Here I have another card, almost looks like that one. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And uh, the Page of Cups is a cu cup of um, it's a card of being childlike um, having a consciousness that is unencumbered is um, you know willing to to be positive not you know not interested in tearing people down that's how you get ahead that's how we all get ahead in life and um, those people that do otherwise are, even if they can temporarily gain a foothold uh, at work, for instance, that's not going to last because eventually uh, they're, the way that they do things will be kind of um, brought out in the open. And, and, uh, the boss will be on to their game. 
hopefully. Now, sometimes if the boss is like uh, the Five of Swords, they may totally relate to that type of person, and you don't need any of that. So you do you, Taurus, in, in at the end of May, and you know keep your keep yourself um, you know moving forward. Don't allow anybody to distract you. Um, and um, the other thing too is. If you're happy about something, don't let anyone else tell you that you don't deserve it. Then that could be the Eight of Swords too, that you feel like guilty because somebody tries to act like you're you're not deserving of something. By the way, and if this is a personal relationship, the Hierophant is a card of marriage, so this new relationship could be something along those lines where it's a uh, it it's not just a short term relationship. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.